Hello my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here. And in today's video, we're going to go through a really awesome Silver Age Superman collection I purchased about a month ago. About a month ago, my local comic book store owner, Eric, he contacted me and said that they had just purchased a really awesome uh, Silver Age Superman collection. So I, I was, you know, that piques my interest, right? I'm really excited to hear what he got. So I asked him, you know, what uh, comics are in there? He said there was Superman comics above 100, uh, action comics in the like high 200s to 300s, adventure comic books in the 300s. So, uh, you know, I just did my research and I started looking around to see what, uh, you know, key issues should be in there. And uh, so I asked him, I said, does it have Superman 199, the first flash race? He said yes, so that was exciting. And oh, check this out. They have mini golf set up right now. I gotta bring my son over here. Very windy today. And then uh, I also asked him if he had action, I believe 340, the first appearance of Parasite. And uh, he checked for both and they, you know, they were in the collection. So that piqued my interest, you know, it has the major keys from that era. So I uh, said, okay, how much do you want? And he said, uh, he thought about it. It took him a couple minutes to come up with a value. And he, uh, he quoted me 2,500 bucks. So at that point I was thinking, all right, that's about $10 an issue, I believe, because he said it was about a long box. So I uh, said, you know what? That's close to what I want to spend. I need to go uh, look through them, you know, check them out, make sure that it's worth paying. So I took a while, you know, I rushed over there actually. <laughs> Did you say comic books? I go running. So I got to uh, Action City Comic Books and I looked through all of them and sadly a whole bunch of them had staples added to them. So that was a little bit of a bummer. So I went through them. I was like, oh, Eric, a lot of them have been, I mean, technically that's considered restoration, like bad restoration. And uh, so I went through them. He said, well, you know what? How much do you want to pay? So I went through all of them and I pulled out, I believe 87 that were in good shape. So basically I figured, all right, probably be willing to pay like 10 bucks a piece, right? Because that's originally what you wanted for all of them. So 870 for those plus 200 each for the two major keys. So what is that, like 12, 1300? So I figured another like 200 for the 100, like kind of beat up issues. So I offered him 1500 and he said, hmm, how about 1600 just so I make a little bit more? And I said, you know what, since he gives me so many opportunities to buy Austin awesome Homos, I'm like, yeah, I can do that. So I bought the collection for 1600. So you know what, it's time to go through the collection and uh, see what i got this is gonna be a really fun video for me to go through all these comics because it's been a month since i bought them i kind of forgot what was in them okay this is what the box looks like of all of the superman stuff oh yeah this is gonna be a ton of fun to dig through this box i'm also going to have my ipad just so i can try to point out all the minor keys because there should be a whole ton of minor keys throughout the whole run here okay let's start going through this box okay first stack from the box so there was a whole bunch of these uh, Return of Superman. So these were just kind of like throw-ins. I think there's one, two, three, four, five of those. So that's not that exciting. <laughs> Every collection has those. Uh, but here we go. All right. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, so we have Action Comics 337. Most of these are pretty much mid-grade. Like there's a little bit of a damage right there. But other than that, it's not too bad. Honestly, if most of them were like this, I would be thrilled. Then we have uh, Action Comics 338, gorgeous cover. Love the just the alien theme. Moto, the Monarch of Menace. That one's awesome. Uh, 335, he's punching through Brainiac's cutout. That is really cool looking. I believe Kurt Swan drew most of this era. So yeah, that's a gorgeous cover. And the white is pretty white. This one looks in decent shape. I really like it. Uh, Action Comics 332, awesome Supergirl cover. I love collecting the Supergirl covers. Really happy with that. Uh, Action Comics 331. So it looks so far we're in the ones that are kind of decent mid-grade ones. Probably like 4.0s to 6.0s in that range. So these are awesome. Uh, Action Comics 329. So it looks like I might have mixed them up a little bit as I was digging through them. I forget. Because I think they were in order. Uh, 327, that cover is awesome. And, you know, again, looks like a decent mid-grade copy. That is awesome. Okay, next stack. We have uh, Action Comics 318. 
Yeah, so we're still Kurt Swan covers with all these. Uh, 317. That's an awesome cover. 321. Love that cover. Uh, 322. That's a really cool cover. It's like a bank robber cover. I think that's awesome. 323. Another awesome cover. Uh, 326. I love when there's monsters on the covers. This cover is awesome. Beautiful cover. Okay, now we have Adventure Comics. We have Adventure Comics number 316. This is one of the lower grade ones. So basically, when we calculated the price, I ended up paying $10 a piece for these like nicer mid-grade ones, or at least that's how I calculated it. And I believe I paid about $2 a piece for the damaged ones. So uh, this is a shame. It's a cool comic book. Okay, we're back to action. Action 345. This one's not too bad. A little bit of chip in the bottom, but it looks relatively nice. Oh, that cover is awesome. Love that cover. 344. Yeah, this is just gorgeous. I love sci-fi covers like this with like the cool crystal monster. That one is beautiful. Okay, 343 with a giant fist. That one's pretty awesome. Love that one. Uh, 342, another awesome sci-fi cover. Those are great. Uh, 341. That's a cool cover. Uh, okay, so this is one of the ones that had the extra staples added. So the, the ones that were like that, we valued, or at least I valued when I was kind of, that's a cheaper one. So I paid $2. It's in pretty okay shape, but it has those extra staples, which is really kind of agitating. Okay, so this says it's the first appearance of Ziggy and Zaggy. So it's a little bit of a minor key. Okay, Action Comics 315. That's a cool, like, sci-fi-ish cover, I guess, because they're using a ray gun. Uh, Action Comics 314. That's an awesome cover. Uh, the day Superman became the Flash. That's actually kind of neat. <laughs> okay, next stack. We have another cool Supergirl cover. Action Comics 313. This one has a little bit of ink transfer or something going on, but that's a cool cover. Really like that one. Action 312. Action 311. All right, so this is the debut of the Jewel Kryptonite. So this is another minor key. Okay, so this is uh, sort of like a bigger key, and I think it's in relatively decent shape. So it's probably like a fifty to hundred dollar issue. So this is uh, JFK. I believe this is JFK pretending to be Clark Kent or something like that. And this issue came out just a few days before JFK was assassinated. So it's kind of like a cultural key. So that's actually really cool, and it's cool that one's in pretty decent shape. Really happy to get that. All right, we got three hundred eight. This is, again, this is a double stapled one. So the double stapled ones I kind of counted. Even though it looks in pretty decent shape. Like, I don't even know why the staples are there. Unless maybe the cover popped off at some point. I got to look at that. See how well I can remove the extra staples. Because they kind of bother me. Action Comics 307. Awesome Supergirl cover. Love that one. Action Comics 306. Kryptonite cover. Action Comics 305. This one's a little bit lower grade, but not too bad. I don't know if I counted that as 10 or like the $2 ones. Okay, Action Comics 304. This is first appearance of Black Flame. So it's a semi-key. Might be worth like 20, 30 bucks. That's super cool. All right, let me clear these ones out from the side. Okay, uh, Action Comics 302. It's a nice cover. Action Comics number 301. Uh, Action Comics 300, so it's an anniversary issue, so this one has a bit more value. It might be as high as even a 6 or 7, because I don't see any major creases. So I would have to open it up and really look at it to see if it's like brittle or too tanned or any of that kind of thing. But that's an awesome issue. So I'm really happy to have that one. Uh, 2 dollars another fun Supergirl cover. Love the Supergirl cover ones. 2 dollars It's a cool cover. Uh, 2 dollars Oh, I love this one. I picked this one up for like 30 or 40 bucks years ago. Maybe not yet. Maybe a couple years ago. I love this cover though. So I, I probably have a duplicate of that. Uh, and I might have a couple more duplicates. I just don't remember which ones I have. Oh, and this one had an extra staple added. Ugh, I hate those extra staples. Uh, Action Comics 295, fun girder cover. I love any cover with girders on it. Just. I don't know, I'm weird like that. Just something I liked as a kid, so it just it still thrills me to see them. This is also extra staple. $2.95. That's a cool cover. 
Okay, next stack, we have uh, 294 with like a kryptonite monster. That one is cool. Extra staples added though. Ugh. Uh, Action Comics 293 uh, has added staples. This is the origin of Comet, the horse. I kind of wish it didn't have the staples because it's kind of a cool key issue and it's a cool Supergirl cover. It looks pretty presentable though. So I guess I'm happy with that. It's a really cool comic book. All right, we have uh, Action Comics 292, kind of a lower-ish grade one. I forget if I counted that as a high grade or a lower grade. Uh, really cool, like, robot cover, though. Love that one. That one is cool. Uh, Action Comics 291. It's a kind of a cool cover. This one does have staples added. Uh, 290 with oh, staples added. I uh, hate those. Uh, 289, again, the staples added. Still a cool cover, though. Uh, you know, and the ones with the staples added, I was paying like two bucks a piece. So it's not a big deal. I paid really cheap on those. Uh, 288 this one has staples and tape on it. I need to learn the skills of Jerry the Jitterbug to fix stuff like that. Uh, cool issue, though. Uh, 287 crypto cover. Love that. Does have the added staples, though. Uh, 286. That's a cool issue. Added staples, though. Uh, 285. This is the issue where Supergirl is introduced to the world. So that's a pretty cool issue. It does have the added staples, but happy to have it. Uh, 284, more staples. 283, this cover's awesome. I love the way this, like, I guess red kryptonite guy looks. Has added staples, though. Okay, and then we have a 10 cent action comic, so it's kind of cool that there's a few 10, even though it's kind of low grade, still happy to have it. So we have uh, action comics 282. He's, I guess, a robot version of him, so that's cool. Uh, Action Comics 279. Uh, staples. and That looks like it's folded, but that might be able to fold that out. So it actually might be a little bit better than it looks. <clears throat> Alright, next stack. Okay, we have Action Comics 266. An awesome cover. I love crypto covers. I love Supergirl covers. I love streaky covers. I love covers with all three of them all together. That's awesome. Terrible shape, but I'm happy to have it. And again, the really beat up ones I didn't pay a lot for. So, I'm, you know, if I saw this for $2 in, like, a, a comic shop, I would pick that up a thousand times over. Okay, so this one is kind of like a bigger key, but it is. It's, I don't even know if it's complete. Just the condition it looks like, it is just obliterated on the spine. But this is the first appearance of the Fortress of Solitude. That's amazing, right? I'm thrilled to have it, even in this terrible, terrible condition. Has added staples, too. <laughs> That's a dirty comic book, but amazing key issue. So I'm actually really happy to have that. Okay, now we're back to the adventure comic books. We have uh, 354. Pretty cool looking comic book. Okay, we have 352. It's the first appearance of the Fatal Five. So it's like a you know, minor key. And it looks like it's in pretty decent shape, actually. That one's cool. Okay, we have Adventure 351. This is the first appearance of the White Witch. So it's another like minor key. And it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Really awesome. Love it. Okay, then we have Adventure Comics 350. Awesome Supergirl cover. Now this is the first appearance of the Hag, I guess. So the Hag becomes the White Witch. Something like that. Not super familiar with the character, but this is cool. It does look like that staples, like torn. And a little bit so it's a little bit lower grade but still a beautiful cover and the main image is not too destroyed so that's really nice to me i love that one that one's cool uh venture comics 339 pretty awesome cover it's a little bit of a water stain on the bottom there but not too bad okay we have a venture comics 349 another minor key with a really fun cover so let's see it's the first appearance of universo a master hypnotist who was once part of the green lantern corps uh, first appearance of Ron Vidar, son of Universo, and a Green Lantern in the 31st century. And it's revealed in Ledger's page that Adventures 346 is one of us as a traitor. is written by a 14-year-old Jim Shooter. So that's kind of cool. That's actually really neat. Okay, Adventures 348. This is the first appearance of Dr. Regulus. And the origin of Sunboy. And it looks in pretty decent shape. That's cool. Okay, we have Adventure Comics 347, a really fun cover. Okay, we have Adventures 346. This is actually a bigger key. This is the first written work of Jim Shooter in the comic industry, which is 
that's kind of awesome actually uh first appearance of Firo lad first appearance of the karate kid first appearance of princess projectra and a first appearance of warlord garlic and nemesis kid so it's you know in this shape though it does look like it has like water stains or something uh it's probably still maybe like a 50 dollar issue that is really cool after the, you know it's really nice that all the little minor keys and slightly better keys are all throughout this run okay next deck okay we have adventure 344 this was a lower grade one with a big water stain right there adventures 342 that's an awesome cover love that one a lot Avengers 341, another minor key. Uh, Triple Girl gets renamed as the Duo Damsel, who later becomes Duplicate Damsel. So that's cool. Uh, Adventure Comics 337. That's an awesome cover. Adventure Comics 335, first appearance of Starfinger. <laughs> kind of love that cover, though. Awesome cover. Adventure Comics 334, another really fun cover. Adventure Comics 331. Sadly, this one has like a big tape pull or something going on there. Uh, Venture Comics number 330. Love the cover on that one. That one's awesome. Adventure Comics number 328. That's an awesome cover. Uh, 327 is the first appearance of Timberwolf. Sadly, it has extra staples added. Uh, I hate those extra staples. Especially when it looks like it was in decent shape too. I don't know why they added so many staples. Uh, Venture Comics 326. Awesome cover. Ooh, I really like this cover too. I love that they're like being faded with some kind of energy ray or something. That is a cool cover. So Adventure Comics 325, decent shape. Uh, Adventure Comics 324, the first appearance of Duplicate Boy. So a minor key in pretty decent shape too. So this one probably has a bit more value to it. Uh, Adventure Comics 323, this really awesome, like, I'm not sure exactly what you call that, but this cover is awesome. It's the Cosmic Eye, I guess. Okay, let me clear these out and make a little room. Okay, next stack. We have another awesome uh, Streaky, Crypto, and Cosmo. The Super Horse triple cover. Love these. Uh, this one sadly has a big water damage on there. But that's awesome. I love that. I do love those. You know, I love the Super Pets. Uh, let's see. Adventure Comics 321. Awesome cover. Love that one. I love the sci-fi covers. They're some of my favorites. Uh, Adventure Comics 320. This one looks like it's got some like stainage or something going on on it. Uh, Adventure Comics 319. That one looks to be in decent shape. Uh, 318. This is the first of full appearance of the Time Trapper. So it's a minor key. Uh, it does have a big water stain on it, though. So that one I would have paid cheaper on. Okay, we have Adventure Comics 317. Kind of a fun, like, minor key. It's the first appearance of Dream Girl. I actually wanted this issue. Uh, it's kind of lower grade with the water stain, though, sadly. So I didn't pay a lot for it. Uh, it's also the first cameo appearance of the Time Trapper. Okay, we have Adventure Comics 315 and giant superboy cover that one is awesome it does have the water stain on it though sadly uh venture comics 345 so it does look like these got mixed up a little bit it does have a water damage other than that doesn't look too bad venture comics 314 another fun sci-fi cover uh venture comics 313 love you know any of the legionnaires covers where they're like sci-fi themed i love these uh venture comics 312 that one's super cool Adventure Comics 311, that one is cool too. Adventure Comics 309. Adventure Comics 307, this is the first appearance of Element Lad. So it's like a, it's kind of a better key. The staples look slightly rusted and there's like a chip out of there. But, you know, it's probably like a solid 3-0-ish, maybe a 2-5. So I'm still happy to have it. Uh, Adventure Comics number, uh, I have to look it up. Uh, 306. So this is a semi-key. It's the first team appearance of the Legion of Substitute Heroes. Sadly, it has a big chunk out of the top there. Otherwise, I mean, it's an awesome cover. Uh, let's see. Adventure Comics 305. This one looks in pretty decent shape. Okay, next stack we have here is, uh, let's see. Adventure Comics 304. Uh, this is a Death of Lightning Lad. So it's like a minor key with a little bit of value. It's not too bad shape. It just has like a whole lot of foxing going on right there. This is one of those super homebrew covers. So that's cool. Really awesome. 
Uh, Venture Comics 303. This is a little bit of a bigger key. It's the first appearance of Origin of the Matter Eater Lad. Uh, sadly, it has a lot of like water damage going on right here. So it's not in the best shape, but still a really cool comic book. And again, the ones that were damaged, I didn't pay a lot for. So I got it for a really good price. Uh, Venture Comics number 302. Awesome sci-fi cover. Love that. Adventure Comics 301, The Origin of Bouncing Boy. That's cool. All right, so this is a better key. This is the uh, first, it's the anniversary issue. It's also uh, the first team appearance of the Science Police, a law enforcement agency of the 30th century. So this one, it does have the extra staples though. I don't know how much that affects it, but it's probably at least like a 30 to $50 issue. That one's cool. Really happy to get that. Avenger Comics number 299. This is the, let's see, the first appearance of the gold kryptonite. Yeah, it's not in terrible condition. It's got a little bit of wear and like a chip there, but yeah, I'm happy with that. That's awesome. Uh, Venture Comics number 298. I always love that cover. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, Venture Comics number 297. It's Lana Lang, Supergirl. So it's not Supergirl, but it's cool. Really like that one. Adventure Comics number 296 pretty decent shape okay we have adventure comics 295 the first appearance of bizarro titano kind of a nice minor key he looks cool uh you know it's got some damage but it's not too bad adventure comics number 294 this is the first appearance of bizarro marilyn monroe and bizarro president jfk uh not too bad it's kind of a cool minor key it does have some staples added though and it's a little bit damaged uh, I guess that's a Bizarro Crypto, too. That's cool. Really like that one. Uh, okay, so this is kind of a more important key issue. Adventure Comics 293. It's the first team appearance of the Legion of Super Pets. Uh, it's also the first appearance of Comet the Super Horse. So that's super cool, actually, because I like the Super Pets. It's the second appearance of General Zod. And it's the first appearance of Bizarro Lex Luthor. That's super cool. Especially with the movie that just came out. I'm sure this is kind of hot right now. Uh, sadly, it's not in the greatest shape. It has three staples added. The spine is destroyed. But again, the damaged ones I paid cheaper on. Just how we calculated it. So I'm thrilled to have that one. That one is awesome. I just kind of wish it was in better shape. Well, probably, ha you know, in situations like this, I might overpaid on some of the nicer non-key issues. But then I way underpaid on like the key but damage issues. So it kind of balances it out. Okay, Adventure Comics number 292. This is the first appearance of Bizarro Lana Lang and Bizarro Lucy Lane. Uh, again, staples added though. It was a shame, but that's super cool. Adventure Comics 291, beautiful cover. Uh, Adventure Comics number 289, the first appearance of Jax Ur, an evil scientist. Uh, low grade, you know, it's got added staples and it's like badly stained, but still thrilled to have it. Okay, let me clear these out. Okay. Next issue, we have uh, Ventures 286. So this is the first appearance of Bizarro, Mr. Mzlik. And uh, I mean, it, it's an awesome cover, awesome key issue, uh, but it's in such low grade, like it's absolutely destroyed. So I didn't pay a lot for it, but I'm thrilled to have it. Adventure Comics number 284, awesome crypto cover. Uh, the spine is badly rolled. It's not in the greatest shape, but still thrilled to have it. Super cool. Adventure Comics number 280, a Fun Mermaid cover. Adventure Comics number 277, really awesome, like alien cover, crypto cover. So it has a lot of themes that I love, but it's in bad shape and it's like completely destroyed right there. And the spine looks destroyed and it's got tape everywhere. <laughs> this has nothing going for it other than it's an amazing cover. And it's an amazing, you know, Superboy cover. Adventure Comics number 273, pretty cool cover, but in rough, rough shape. Like the again, these really rough ones I did not pay a lot for. Uh, let's see, uh, Adventure Comics 271, kind of a nice key. It's the origin of Lex Luthor retold. Uh, not in the greatest shape, but I think even beat up like this, it's still got some value to it. So that's awesome. Adventure Comics number 248, really awesome cover. I really like just the overall composition. Just there's something about the colors and the boxes and the black. I just wish it was in better shape, but still, I'm happy with that. Coverless copy of Action Comics 280. I don't think that's a key issue. Oh, and uh, and then a coverless 248. That's, uh, let's see, 248 is the first appearance of Congo Rilla, formerly Congo Bill. Uh, is there another issue in there? I think it's just the two issues. I'm just, do I pull it open? No, I, don't, I just don't know how beat up these are. I mean, that probably has a little bit of value. 
especially if it's like a semi key. Action Comics 277 coverless and uh, Action Comics 270 coverless. I don't think either of those are keys. Uh, okay, so now we have some Superman. Okay, we have a 80 page giant number 11. That's super cool. It does have like a tape pull down there, but other than that, it's not terrible shape. Superman annual number eight. It has some damage on the bottom, but it presents pretty well. Superman annual number seven, really cool cover. Uh, 80 page giant number six, really awesome cover. It looks like there's a chip from it somewhere there. And it's got a little bit of damage right there. But either way, the cover's awesome. It's not terrible. It presents pretty well. Happy with that. Although it does look like another staple. I don't even know why that staple's there. Someone was just having fun with staplers. Okay, next stack. We got some more of these sticker books. Superman Annual Number 6. Fun cover. Superman Annual Number 5. Ah, I love when there's like robots and sci-fi themes. Cool cover. Uh, Superman Annual Number 4. Uh, Superman Annual Number 3. Really rough shape. Cool cover, though. All right. Uh, Superman Annual 80-page Giant Number 1. That's pretty awesome. Not Like, it's got a chip there, but it's not too terrible. Okay, now we have some uh, regular Superman issues. We have Superman 193. Not too bad shape for, you know, one of these 80-page Giants. Superman 191. That's an awesome cover. Good shape, too. Uh, Superman 188. Pretty decent shape. It has, like, a little bit of, like, a ink transfer lift there. But it looks pretty good. Uh, Superman 186. Cool cover. It has a little bit of a, I guess, a subscription crease. Not 100% sure. Uh, Superman 184. That's a cool cover. Okay, next stack. We have uh, Superman 183. That's a cool combo. It looks, you know, it's not too bad shape for these thick, you know, the thick issues from back then. Kind of hard to find those in good shape. Okay, this is pretty cool. We have Superman 182. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Toy Man. So a nice, like, minor key. That is cool. Superman number 181. That's a cool cover. Superman 179. That's also a cool cover. Uh, Superman 178. This is the debut of the red gold kryptonite. Okay, that's cool. It does have like a stain on it, but still a neat minor key. Superman 176. That one's neat. Uh, Superman 175. This one looks in pretty good shape. I like that. Uh, Superman 174. This one looks like the staples popped and then another staple added. Uh, oh, there's two copies of that. That's cool. Okay, Superman 174, looks like we have a second copy. This one looks nicer, but this one has the staples, so I don't know which one I'll keep. I might keep both for now. <laughs> uh, Superman 173, that's a cool cover. Uh, Superman 171, really like that cover too. Superman 170, that's kind of an awesome cover. Superman 169, love that cover. I love Bizarro covers a lot. Superman 168. Uh, oh, this one's cool. All right, Superman 167. It's the first cameo appearance of Vril Docs 2, a clone of Brainiac. The first appearance of Tharla, the future wife of Lex Luthor, and the origin of Brainiac. Super cool. It doesn't look like it has like a dust shadow or an acid burn right there. But it's not in terrible shape, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, Superman 166. That's a cool cover. I love Christmas themed covers. Uh, Superman 165, that's a fun cover. Okay, let me clear out these stacks. Okay, next stack, we have uh, Superman 164. That's a really nice cover. I really like that one. It looks in pretty decent shape, too. Uh, Superman 163, that's a cool cover. Superman 162. This is the third appearance of General Zod. That's really cool, actually. Nice minor key. Uh, Superman 161. Superman 160. This one looks like it has a little bit of damage right there. Uh, Superman 159. Really love this cover. It does have added staples, though, sadly. Okay, we have Superman 158. This seems to be a little bit of a better key. 
It's the first appearance of Than Ole, a Kryptonian scientist. And uh, let's see, it's the spine looks damaged. Like I think the staples are popped and it looks really damaged. So it's not in the best shape. Still cool though, like it looks presentable. So that's nice. Okay, Superman 157, the first appearance of Quox E, a Kryptonian poacher. <laughs> so a little minor key. That is super cool. Uh, Superman 156, a fun Supergirl and crypto cover. Love that. Superman 155. It's a cool cover. Uh, Superman 154 with uh, Mr. Miz. <laughs> I can never say his name. It's got a big uh, tape stain right there, though. This is kind of what tape does over time. It stains your comic book. So tape is... Oh, I don't like tape. Uh, all right. Uh, Superman 153. Superman 152. That's a cool cover. Superman 150. Really like that cover. Really nice cover. Uh, Superman 149. It's the first appearance of The Flash in a Superman title. So it's the first crossover with Superman. Uh, it's coverless, so obviously it doesn't have too much value. Still cool. And then we have uh, some Jimmy Olsen books. So I think the Jimmy Olsen books I paid cheaper. Still like a dollar or two for the beat up ones. And then I think it was five dollars for the better ones. So we have number 11, not in good shape, but still a cool earlier issue. Uh, okay, it looks like we have one more Superman issue. We have Superman 148, a fun cover. Ah, it's just lost the, the, you know, it's damage. It's a damage issue. But again, I paid really cheap on the damage ones. Uh, it's a fun uh, Mr. Miz cover. <laughs> uh, okay, so back to Jimmy Olsen. We have number 99. It has a little bit of a water stain up there, but it's not too bad. It's a fun cover. Uh, number 96. That's cool. Number 94. Number 93. This one also has, like... A little bit of a stain right there. Uh, the Batman Superman of Earth X. It's kind of fun. Jimmy Olsen is one series I've been working on for years. Just because it's cheap, right? Every time I see an issue for a few bucks, I pick it up. Uh, number 91. That's cool. Number 90. Love the cover on that one. Uh, number 88. This one looks water damaged. Number 83. Fun cover, though. Uh, number 81. Number 79. Number 78, number 77, number 76, that's a great cover, love that cover. Number 75, love that cover too. Oh, that's a really cool cover, so we have number 74, love that. We got the little teeny woman and then the tiger man, that one's awesome. Uh, number 73, that's cool. Number 72, that's a great cover, I love, you know, monster covers. Uh, number 71 also a great cover all right next stack oh gotta scooch over a little bit uh number 70 this is the first appearance of silver kryptonite so like a minor key number 69 number 67 oh i like this cover this is a great cover number 64 number oh not sure the number but that's a gorgeous cover love that one uh, number 62 Number 61. This one has added staples. Ugh. Hate the added staples. Uh, number 60. Number 59. Number 58. A lot of these have added staples. I paid cheap on the added staples ones. Okay, and then the final stack in this box. Okay, we have, uh, let's see, number 57. This is the marriage between Supergirl and Jimmy Olsen issue. So that's fun. Uh, it's uh, number 53. Awesome cover. Love that cover. I wish it was a higher grade because that cover is awesome. Okay, number 46. Supergirl cover. That's fun. Uh, okay, we're back to Superman. Actually, we might be getting to the better issues or the issues I thought were a little bit better. Uh, Superman 151. I love this cover. It does have one added staple, sadly. But that cover is amazing. Superman 187. So I think I was grabbing issues that if I was only going to buy a handful, this is what this would be. Because I just I love that cover so much. And I love this cover where he's got the giant key for the Fortress of Solitude. That's cool. So Superman 187. Love that cover. Superman 189. This is the origin and destruction of Krypton 2 by Jor-El. So that's like a nice minor key. Uh, Adventure Comics number 310. A fun crypto cover. 
Really love that one. Action Comics number 303. I love this cover. It's awesome, awesome, uh, like monster that Supergirl's writing. Such a cool cover. Kind of has a little bit of a, like a smudge right there. Kind of wish it wasn't there, but that's okay. Awesome. Okay, and then we have the big boys. We have Superman 199, the first Flash for Superman race. This one's a decent mid grade copy. So this one, you know, I figured I paid about 200 for it. I think it was worth it. It's probably worth more than that just because it's in decent shape. And then we have Action Comics 340, the first appearance of Parasite. This also in kind of a nicer mid-grade. So that I think is also worth more than the 200 I paid. So that was super awesome. And then we have uh, Jimmy Olsen Giant number two. Super cool. Okay, so that was the collection of stuff. That was amazing. Okay, and then as a little added bonus, I picked up my weekly comics then as well. So. We'll just we'll quickly go through those <laughs> there was oh there was this graphic novel as well he had a little uh box of graphic novels that had just been traded in so i asked him how much he would want he's like ah maybe half cover price i was like how about free with the purchase of a 1600 dollars superman collection he's like okay that's fine <laughs> i don't think this has any value or anything i just thought it was like a really nicely illustrated i love stuff like this so yeah i just grabbed it it was a cover buy basically yeah, with new comic books, I'm not actively reading any of these. So usually new comic books, I just grab stuff. I cover, I'm a cover buyer, right? I buy stuff with beautiful covers. So we have Catwoman 45, love that cover. Uh, oh, a couple Fortnites, one for me and one for my son. So I got two copies of that. Uh, She-Hulk number five, with this beautiful Jen Bartel cover. Love her covers. Uh, Spider-Gwen, Gwenverse number four, awesome David Nakayama cover. Love that. Uh, the Justice League number two, Daniel Warren Johnson artwork, I believe. And yeah, I think he did the interior too. Wow, that's a cool looking comic book. Uh, Saga number 60, love Saga. Scorch number six, this is just the X-Men 1 homage. So I grabbed it because I thought that was cool. Uh, Justice League three, another Daniel Warren Johnson cover. Love that. Uh, Do a Powerbomb number two, also his. Uh, Shaolin Cowboy number three, absolutely love Jeff Darrow artwork. Uh, Immortal X Men number four, just a really beautiful cover. Mark Brooks cover. Uh, Poison Ivy number two, thought that was a gorgeous cover. Batgirls number six, fun cover. Batgirls number eight, also a fun cover. Batgirls eight uh, variant, just a fun, like cute, cartoony cover. Love that. And Catwoman number 45, awesome Jenny Friesen cover. Love that. So yeah. It's just fun to get new covers from artists I really enjoy. All right, that was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.